Hi guys, Geek of Many Topics here. Today's topic is Evo Land 2, now in three dimensions. And we're gonna go chase after um Menos. Huh. Oh, I like how I, I after a while I put my sword away. <gasps> cool. Menos. In the year 950 of our Lord, here we have, we were, here were the demons vanquished by Emperor Lothair and his troops. The inscription on this statue. How is this possible? That's what I was trying to explain, Menos. The Megalith, we traveled through time. Geek and I come from the year 9. 999. Almost 50 years after the demons were defeated. An accident led us to your time, and the Empire captured us. And when the Great Magus destroyed the Megalith, something came out of it. I think that thing brought us here. I really wish we'd returned home, but I get the feeling we're in a different time period. All of this seems impossible. And yet, the statue. But why? What is the meaning of our lives if everything is already written? I don't understand it much myself. But look at Geek. He continues to fight, no matter what. At first I was terrified at the thought of being lost. But while following Geek, I began to understand. Life is just right now, this very moment, wherever you happen to be. I don't know if the past has already happened or if the future can be changed, but I know I exist right here, right now. It's just me in the here and now. And Geek is the one who made me realize that. So I'm not afraid anymore. Although rats and mushrooms still do it, of course. I am not convinced. My people have been conquered, and I shouldn't be here. My son, what has become of him? <laughs> Instead of asking ourselves all these questions, we'd better off looking for another megalith. If we were able to go back into the past, then you should be able to return to your own time. Let's focus on that instead of dwelling on questions we can't answer. Hey, don't I sound like an adult geek? <laughs> he he he. I don't know if I can be as strong as Solid Snail or Miss Fina, but I'll do my best. Cool. What do the special moves look like? Yeah. In three dimensions. I like it. Okay. To the future! Okay, so we're at the bluff. There's this BB's tent. There's Mayan's bridge. Haunted forest. What happens if we go in here? Ooh, who are you? bump into the boss, don't judge him by his appearance. Some people call him a monster, but that's because they don't know him. And anyway, he takes good care of us. Without him, we'd just be a run-of-the-mill thieves. Okay. Ah, new recruit! Don't worry, this job's real easy. 
We just find stuff that's banned in the capital and resell it to people who want it. It's not too dangerous as long as you don't get caught by the militia, of course. Okay. More gravestones, huh? I used to live in Genova. My dream was to become a traitor. But I quickly learned that only traitors' sons become traitors. So then I, be so then I came here. <laughs> when you think about it, our work is kind of like what traitors do. Uh huh. You're smugglers, kinda. Um. Here. Don't say anything bad about the boss. He's our savior. Many of us are sons of pirates. Long ago, a volcano erupted on our island. <laughs> the boss took us in and taught us a new trade. Huh. The boss grew up here, so he was very attached to the forest. Fortunately, I found it a bit gloomy at first, but I got used to it eventually. What? Ghosts? You don't know ghosts. You know ghosts don't exist, right? Looking for the boss. I'm afraid he's had a bad day. He took off to get some rest in his lair. Best not to disturb him while he's in that mood. He has a short fuse. And besides, his lair is chock full of booby traps. Anyway, it's up to you. You've been warned. <laughs> okay, let's go. I don't know why. Save point. Bots. My other, my other mortal enemy. Oh, there's stairs even. Ooh. This is very cool. Okay, left first. Ah. Oh dear. Oh my. Ah! Oh dear. I can't... I can't jump here. Ow. Ow. Huh. Ow. actually hurt now. Oh. I don't want to be killed by a tiny slime, please. Not one of those, huh? Red goop. What am I gonna do with all these goops and things? Uh oh. Huh. 
I know what those are. Those are skeleton monsters. what I'm supposed to do. I leveled up. Oh, come on. Ah, really? <sighs> okay, well I'm gonna stop the episode here because that was, that's interesting. So, see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Well, I guess it's like they say. The tooth shall set you free. <laughs> That's horrible. That was a horrible joke, Spy Fox. Talk about escaping by the skin of your teeth. Now the Here we go. Did we time travel again? Yes, we time traveled. We are now at three dimensions. Three 